Poncho, but it's another day in Singapore. It's Saturday today, and as usual, we are heading to the train station. We are going to Punggol. That is where exactly the border of uh, Singapore from Malaysia. Bus is coming, one for one. As you can see, the bus is so clean. Yeah, it's so clean, spacious. I love the buses here. Singapore Hawker Centers are basically large food courts with stalls around the perimeter serving everything from full meals to snacks and drinks. The most common problem I'm having here in Singapore is tissue. So we always have to bring our own tissue because uh, restaurants don't provide their own tissues here. Roasted pork and char siu, the most popular food here in Singapore. So most eatery here, they're just simple yet the food is so great. But sometimes, that you care so I'm showing that I care for him <laughs> okay from Pungo station we have to proceed to LRT station okay welcome to LRT of Singapore train LRT train is so cute it looks like a tiny worm coming from LRT we get off at the Oasis line so you have to take the east line not the west line so that's our mistake so we have to go back to the station LRT again to change the platform from west to east from Oasis Mall so we're heading that way HDB flats are public housing in Singapore they are called as such as they are constructed by the Housing and Development Board or HDB these homes are affordable and can be easily purchased by the average Singaporean as they are subsidized by the government and are offered with housing grants quiet I don't see much people here but I like the view because of the Bermuda grass around the trees so we are on a bike lane here and that area is Serangoon Island here and on the other side is already Malaysia mm -hmm. nice walkway you will see the Malaysia on the other side so we are in a Pungul area the other side is the Serangoon Island. It's raining, we're stuck in the rain. Mm -mm. Two hours later. It's been raining. Oh, here. We're going to watch the way there. Another nice home here. 24 hours later. Hi, travel buddies. It's Sunday morning and we have a good weather today. We are here right now in Sungai Bulo Reserve, Wetland Reserve. So, this is the main entrance here. So, you can do picnic around. So we are currently here. So this is the map. So from Far Park, our place we took like an hour. This is the longest commute we ever had, and it's fun because everything is easy. Just transfer buses. Okay, so. Let's go. Monitor lizard. You look like a crocodile. Or alligator. The mangrove. Okay. Do they have some crocodiles here? So that's not what crocodiles. Uh -huh. No. Yeah, that's the thing I won't believe. Oh, they do. Here? Yeah. No. 100%. Salt water coming from the ocean. That's why salt. Salt water's right there. But not here. It's a bit no, but I mean there's. Ah, okay. I thought here. <laughs> I, I saw one last time. Ah, okay. I yeah. thought here. Oh, no. 
<laughs> I'm not going to cross this water if there's a crocodile here. I'm just staying in this area. In, ah, along. oh, that makes sense, yes. <laughs> Wonders of Nature at Singapore's first ASEAN Heritage Park. A cover wall filled with rich biodiversity as you wander through the wetlands with an extensive mangrove forest of Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve. Okay, along this uh, Sungai Bulo Reserve, at this viewpoint, you can see the Johor, Siri of Malaysia. You can see first time seeing a saltwater crocodile here. So in the borders of Singapore and Malaysia. There, see those two white birds there and then the brown one. It's like a rock but it's not. You can see a sea, um, saltwater crocodile, which is amazing. That scares me to swim in the, in the I mean, less trust when it comes to beaches. So we have a nice viewpoint here called the Eagles Point. This is Malaysia. This is Johor here. This waterway is called the Strait of Johor. And a funny story about this is on the south end of the island, um, the British were trying to guard um, from the Japanese. And um, instead, the Japanese uh, attacked this area, and no one was here. Landed right on the island, no problem. Sungai Bulo was first opened as a nature park in 1993. In 2002, 130 hectares were officially gazetted as a nature reserve and remain Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve to better reflect its status. Trek through these ecological jewels, many trails, and discover its native inhabitants such as mudskippers, crabs, shellfish, water snakes, birds, spiders, monitor lizards, and otters. Blocked. Okay. Looks so, like they looks like they built it too low. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. that, they uh, messed up that design. Yeah, they didn't. But or maybe they didn't. Maybe this is global warming. You know? Oh, high tide. Oh, there is some um, a trash here. Uh, dude, for all tourists, please don't leave your trash. Let's keep our earth clean. Like. This is four people who decided to leave the trash, yes. not just one, this is the whole party. And that's the Sungai Bulo Reserve here in Singapore. See the sounds of the different animals. So it's a very relaxing place here, go on a picnic and best part has it has no entrance fee so you just bring your own water and then extra food if you like and take your family here <laughs> sungai bulo reserve with my <laughs> partner <laughs> ranger roger ranger <laughs> power rangers <laughs> <laughs>